Hi, I'm John with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember that anytime you work on an appliance, make sure that it is unplugged or the circuit breaker is turned off so there is no chance of electrocution. We're going to show you how to install a new drum drive belt for your Frigidaire washer. It's a really easy job that only requires a Phillips head screwdriver and a few minutes of your time. When you open the package, you'll get one new drive belt. The reason why you'd be replacing the drive belt is if the drum won't agitate, if the drum won't turn, if there's a burning smell during use, or if there's an odd sound during use. To replace the part, you'll need to access the back side of the washing machine. At the rear of the washing machine, on the upper right corner, is the water inlet valve. You'll need to turn off the water source for the cold and hot water, and then remove the two hoses. You're going to need to remove this back panel, which is held in place by a series of Phillips head screws. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen and remove the screws. With all the screws removed, you can now take off the back panel. The drive belt goes around the motor pulley and this large pulley here. And as the motor operates, it turns the pulley, which makes the drum inside turn itself. To change out the old belt, simply pull forward on the belt, and as you rotate the top pulley, it'll pull the belt right off. Here's the old drive belt next to the new one. If you already have the new part, great. If not, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. To install the new belt, start by positioning one portion of the belt on the pulley for the motor, and then you're going to put it around here, get it in there. And then, as you start turning it, it should pull the belt into position. And there we have it, it's on. With the new part in place, you can now reinstall the back panel. Then, thread in and tighten the retaining screws. Now, reconnect the water inlet lines, making sure that the cold and the hot valves have the correct hose attached. Now that the repair is complete, turn on the hot and cold water supply. Plug in the machine and you're done. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. And be sure to check out our other repair videos on our website, on our Facebook page, and on our YouTube channel.